Hi everybody, quick check in. Look at these little lovelies. They've knocked over the feeder. I gotta get in there and stand it back up so I can fill it up. But a dear friend of mine gifted me these little lovelies to restore my flock because we've had so much predation, damage and losses this year and about half my flock's gone, including my ducks. But we've got our new layers that were in here in the A-frame moved over to the big, big kids club. So now we've got these to finish raising out just a few more weeks. The two dark ones are older, so they're a little bigger. But uh, we're going to give the Golden Comet some time to get caught up and then we'll move everybody to the big house yeah that a pretty one i put some feed out and then i gave them some ears of corn that didn't have good pollination and i think they'd rather have the ears of corn which i don't blame them it's really good it's a serendipity triple sweet man oh man is it good corn if i just had better pollination i'd had a bunch of really delicious corn but we've got uh, more than we had, so that's a blessing. Oh, my camera keeps. Let me see. Fencing makes it hard. They're having fun being chickens. So I just wanted to show everybody. And we'll do some more updates with the garden and things. Let me do you a quick raise you up. The sun's behind me. This is my jungle garden this is not weeds there's very little weeds because we have the weed fabric that is tomato plants both on the ground and dragging my poor net trellis down but you can see in there all the lovely marigolds that basically took over that row and I have to climb through to find peppers and tomatoes, but I don't mind. The birds and the butterflies have absolutely loved the marigolds. And I learned a lesson that they get really, really huge. So now I know not to plant them in the tomato row anymore. Let's see if I can... There we go. Learn how to do my phone zoomy thing here. But you can see, let me do that again. It's not as red as it is in life. That is an orange one on the video, looks like, but it is red, red, and all those other ones are red. So I've got my basket out here with me, and I'm getting ready to do some picking. God has truly blessed. My garden has looked like a mess and a disaster, y'all, but. God has blessed. I have, I believe, 16 gallons or 17 gallons of tomatoes in my freezer to process. And you can see I have plenty of life left in these plants. It may be a jungle, but I will accept my jungle and thank the Lord for my jungle and process as many of the tomatoes as I possibly can for my family's enjoyment of pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce and mom's tomato sauce for chili and tomato juice for drinking. So my sister gifted me a steam juicer for Christmas and I think we might try to put it to work and make some tomato juice through it for mom and can it. So I'm gonna get off here Get busy. Say bye, girls. They think that the black and white one is a boy, but I'm thinking she's a girl. Just looking at the tail feathers and stuff. So we'll see. I've had one shock me in the past. So everybody have a good evening. God bless. Stay safe. This is Dawn from Glory Grace Farm.